Hey guys, so here we are. And uh, who wants to see some badass shit? I mean, it was an amazing weekend thrifting. So we're going to do a run through of what we got and what it'll sell for. We'll see you shortly. Well, hello. How are you? Here we go. So let's start this off now. Went over, spent Father's Day with my pops, had an amazing time, and decided to teach pops the finer art of flipping, thrifting for resale. So we hit um, seven Goodwills and a Salvation Army. Now, what you see in front of you are 36 of Ferdinand the Bull Beanie Babies. Picked them up for 90 cents each. Brand new with the tag. So I picked them up for 90 cents each. So we got, let's see, packages, 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 loose ones. They sell, I'll sell them for about $11 each and it'll cost me about $3 to ship. So I'll clear about $7.50 after eBay fees and everything on each single one. So we got that. Hang on, I gotta get rid of these. Then, same shelf. I found El Cuatro. So we got two, four, six, eight, 12, like 16 of him. Same deal, about 90 cents, 85 to 90 cents each. He sells for a little bit less. I'll make about seven bucks on each one of him. And then, oh, Fortnite. Halloween costume, brand new, sealed in the package. I picked it up for $5. And uh, it'll sell for about 50. Now, if I wait till Halloween, it'll probably sell for even more. So, turn five into 50. Then we got some really cool, curious George, little big man booties. For a baby. I picked him up for three bucks. I sell him for about twelve. Texas AM. Uh recall hullabaloo. Step off on. It is the Fighting Texas A Aggies band on cassette. Brand new, factory sealed. Picked it up for 80 cents. I'll sell it for 10 bucks. It's Texas. Then we got some brother ink cartridges, brand new, two black in, or they're black, uh, two of them. I picked it up for three bucks, sells for 50. Then we got these Little Mermaid beach balls, sell for $9. I got them for 99 cents each. And to quote Sham Lyle, but wait, there's more. Another one, another one. And there's more in there. So uh, they'll sell for about 10 each. Um, here's a cool thing. This is Department 56. I think it's Dillard's, to be honest. I am not exactly sure. <clears throat> but it is a 64 and a half Ford Mustang. It's for the little snow village. I picked it up for five dollars. I should sell it for about twelve. Not a great lick, but a good lick. Then what else do we got? So, and how the weekend started is, you know, I figure I'd take pops out, show them, you know, the ropes, show them what I'm doing, because it's the first time I've really been able to spend time with him since uh, September. Between the Corona bull crap and just my work schedule and everything else. So 
the first two Goodwills we hit, I mean, it's clinkers. As far as, it's just bare minimum. I mean, I get like three items at one place, two in another. Well, here's a perfect example. So, I get this. It's a Jello Jiggler uh, mold, University of Texas. I got it for 99 cents. I'll sell it for about 750 plus shipping. So, I mean, it's a good lick, but it's not great. You know, I mean, it's good. And then I got some shoelaces and these are for runners. And, but see, this is a good brand. This is through Whole Earth Provisions. They're uh, Nathan running laces. So I get them for 99 cents. I'll sell them for 10 to $12. Which is good, but it's not what I'm wanting. I mean, I'm wanting the big ticket items, you know? So, I gotta show off for Pop, right? And then I get this buoy uh, by Speedo to, um, it's a, a, a team pull buoy. I pick it up for two bucks, I'll sell it for 12. You know, not great, but, and then we hit another spot. Where I get some Nerf guns. All right. So these guys I pick up for three and four. 15 and 20. That's what they sell for. So things are turning up. It's looking better, right? And then... Has anyone heard of... A Disney movie called, hang on, Tomorrowland. So, oh, you've seen that. So, Tomorrowland, and I, I've heard of it. I don't know anything at all about it. But I picked up the mothership. So, I've got the ship, the little mini ship, which goes inside, and then the other ship that goes in the top. Oh, really? All right, hang on. There we go. Got everything in where it needs to be. There's that. There's that. Oh, wait. Shamwell. There's more. So, anyhow, I picked this whole ship up. And it's complete. And it's Tomorrowland. And it sells for about $35 the way it is. And I picked it up for 4 bucks. So, that's a pretty exciting find right there. And then... Now, mind you... Tonight, I got to take pictures of all this stuff and put it online and try to sell it. But it puts me in a whole other realm. Now, this is a tab punch. These are for um, like scrapbookers and stuff like that. So, sells for about $15. I picked it up for 3 All right, so I'm gonna pause it for a second and I'll be right back. All right, guys, take a look at that guy. That is a legit, straight up Hummel. It's also a Viking ship. Now, if it was in good condition, it'd be worth about 300 to $400. I got it for $5.99. Now, I'm going to keep it. Because, you see right here, the horn that he's blowing, the bugle or whatnot, is broken off. But, I figured ATX Viking, moi, I needed a Viking ship. So, this is going to be my new little thingy thingy. So he'll be making appearances in all my videos from this point forward. And I'm going to put like a, maybe a Southern Comfort, maybe a Jack Daniels bottle. I'm not sure just yet. But 
it's badass. So anyhow, and I, even in the state it's in, I mean, it's worth a lot of money. Um, but yeah, I mean, if it was, if he still had his little, uh, horn there, minimum 300 minimum, but I mean, he's a Viking. I mean, Oh, see, and there's, he's, his little oars broken off too. So I'm keeping him. I mean, I couldn't beat it for five bucks, you know, maybe start my videos like that. I'm thinking so. So got a new little thingamabob all right so here brand new factory sealed it's got the guitar the game everything sells for about six zero sixty dollars and i picked it up for 15. so that was a pretty good lick now oh hey this is a good one too this would be a Jack Daniels pool cue. Brand new. Still got the little factory thingy. They don't make these anymore. So this guy's about 80 bucks. And I got him for eight dollars. I'm almost hesitant to show you all this if anybody wants any of this stuff <clears throat> this is the opportunity if you want it you have to pm me you have to let me know because otherwise these items in these green boxes let's say walt disney classic are going online tonight if you want them you tell me, I'll give you a deal, but they're going online tonight. So I go to this Goodwill where I got all of the Beanie Babies. They're complete, they're new in their original boxes, all with certificate of authenticity. So, and I mean, flawless. Everything about them, perfect. No chips, no nicks, no scratches. We've got uh, Drill Sergeant Pete from Marching Orders. These were all from 2003. And I got him for $16. He will sell for about 170 And to quote ShamWow, there's more. Then we've got, don't pay attention to the box. Well, you can, but it's not what you think. We've got Bambi, Prince of the Forest. And he Let's see, it's made by Royal Dalton, Dalton, and no chips, no scratches, perfect original packaging. I got for $16 for this one, he'll sell for $125. We got to put him back in the box, so he stays nice, and like I said, these all have original um certificates of authenticity Ooh, this is one of my favorite ones too now there is one that i'm probably going to keep because with the way the political environment is going now so this is a precious moments every girl knows precious moments so we have alice and the white rabbit and the clock and all of that Certificate of Authenticity, you can see it in there. So she sells for about 125. And, you know, like I said, original packaging, you can't beat it. I picked her up for 15. Oh, this is a good one. So, 
new original, well, mint in original packaging. We have Daisy Duck, Donald Duck, still new, still with tags. Isn't that cool? So anyhow, I picked them up for $18, sell for over 100 a bunch of Donald Duck stuff. You'll see it in a minute. We got that. Sorry, kind of slowed down as far as because I got to open all the packages. Now I have two of these that I picked up for seven dollars each. It's Donald Duck. As a Boy Scout. It's called the Good Scout. So I've got two of these. Picked them up for seven. They go for about eh, between 50 and 80. I mean, so that's really, really cool. Like I said, I mean, I walked into this thing and I was like, they're all out on display. So I immediately throw them in my buggy. And the manager of the Goodwill goes, I just put those out like 10 minutes ago. I'm like, well, I'm just buying them 10 minutes later. So, and I literally had people complain, not, complaining is not the right word. Definitely not happy. They were like, you're going to buy them all? I go, um, yeah, I'm going to buy them all. So now this one is the one I'm going to keep. Just due to the political horseshit drama, you know, you know what's happened with Yosemite Sam and Elmer Fudd and all that. So I bought him for $13. It's Donald Duck in the military. This was made during the time when it was um, trying to bring a uh, morale effort to joining the military. So, you see he's got his gun. This guy here is just going to explode. Right now, he's about $225 if I want to buy him on eBay. I picked him up for $12.99. It's going to do nothing but go up. Um, I'll hold on to him. He's going to stay in his little box. He's got a uh, certificate of authenticity, everything. So, um yeah, that right there, that's, I call that a LTI, a long-term investment. This is going to do nothing but go up. Now, the big one, it's not the most expensive one, but it's the biggest one. And I mean, it's cool as, sh cool as I'll get up. It's Goofy from, or Pluto, Pluto, or Goofy. No, it's Goofy. This is from um, Anastasia, uh, Mickey and the Beanstalk. So mint condition, I picked him up for $10. He should sell for about $300. I mean, look at him. I mean, it's, it's flawless. And I was just absolutely, see it here. Certificate of authenticity, original paperwork. It's got everything. So, like I said, if you or somebody you know wants these, hit me up through a private message or text me, and um, we'll figure it out. Oh, I forgot about these. So, these are rubber stamps. Brand new from, well, they, they kind of vary. I mean, I've got Michael's. I've got some other ones in here. They're all Halloween. So, and I haven't counted them. I'm doing, should I count them? Okay, two, four, five, two, four, five. About 30 in here. I picked up for $2. So, they're all Halloween. Never used any of them, actually. I mean, I'm looking through and they've never, not a single one has seen a, an ink pad. So, I'll probably sell them. 30 of them, I'll sell them for $2 each, maybe 50 bucks. 
I got two bucks in them. I mean, you guys are stampers. Hit me up. And then we've got some Avengers. We've got Falcon. So I picked him up for six dollars. He sells for about twenty. But I mean, it was a phenomenal weekend on so many levels. You know, since I started selling on eBay, this is the first time in my adult life. Um, I'm 49. This was the first year where I was able to buy my dad a nice present. And it was something he always wanted. And I was able to get it for him. And how I was able to do that was by doing this. Um, you know, if he wants to tell you what I bought him, he will. But, you know, this is the first time I was able to do that. And... I'm, I'm, I'm not struggling anymore. I'm on that precipice between making a really good profit, but where I've always failed before in every business I've ever done is I start counting my chickens before they hatch. And what I've done this time is I've invested any kind of money that I get back, I invest back into my business. You know, I bought a disc repair machine so I can uh, clean discs and, and sell them for a profit. I bought uh, a digital, not a digital, but a thermal printer. And, you know, it's things like that where, yeah, I mean, I could. I, could, I mean, I could go and spend money. One, I owe people money and my loyalty and responsibility is to pay the people that help me now that's coming more quickly than i I've, I've been prepared for and i'm excited about it because i'm able to give back to those that help me when i needed it the most now i sold my car back in september I ride the bus. This weekend I rented a car because I wanted to see my dad. And I pick up my van this next week. Um, and it's a really, really exciting time because I was able to sit down and show my dad what I'm doing. My dad is the smartest, financially responsible, and business-minded person I know. And I was able to sit down and show him and ask him, what I need to be doing differently. And while he doesn't understand the, um, the full uh, aspect and appreciation of eBay and selling and, you know, that and, and the digital world, you know, he owned a gas station. He's owned rental properties. He's owned several things through his lifetime, you know, and he sat down and we talked numbers and we talked about strategies and you know, and I'm doing it the right way. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a truly exciting time. And, you know, if you're wanting to change careers or you need a secondary source of income, this is it. You know, if you watch my videos, I'm telling you exactly what I'm doing and how I do it. And, you know, if you PM me or text me, I'm more than happy to share this knowledge. I mean, it's a great big world out there and I am not greedy in any, I'm not, I'm not stressing it. I got my own game and I am blessed. I mean, it, I, I truly am. And I'm happy to share those blessings with you because that's my job as a human, I want you, my friends, my family, even if you don't know me, I want you to succeed as well. So it's an exciting time. I'm truly um, blessed. That's the word. I mean, but anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to be keeping track of this sale as well. Uh, tomorrow I'll be posting an update on the 5150 sale, which was all of the video games and remote controls, which 
honestly, I, I didn't post hardly anything. I posted like six items. I'm already sold them and I'm already in the profit. And I got like 40 more to post. So that's already paid for itself. And then this, it's just rolling on top of each other. Um, but I was, you know, I was talking to somebody and I was talking to my dad. And I was marveling to myself about how well I did this weekend. And he goes, it's because you're focused. It's because you're working a plan. Right or wrong, it's my plan. And I'm working it every day. And it's paying off. So, make a plan. I always have these notepads around. I write down all my ideas and I do it in pencil because when we write plans in pen, we feel obligated to stay within that plan. Forward is forward. When you're moving forward with a plan <clears throat> and you hit a roadblock, you can go left or right. As long as you're moving. Not backward. You can move left, you can move right, and then forward. Left, right, and then forward. Left, right, and then forward. So I write these ideas down and I'm excelling. I'm averaging, you know, a, a good amount of money. And <clears throat> it's now at a point where it's becoming a very real thing. So. I appreciate y'all. Please share the the message or the 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 link, and um, you know y'all be well. Be nice to each other. The world is an amazing place. Ninety nine point nine nine percent of the people you meet, including police officers, cl including colored people, Mexicans, Chinese, white, Native Americans. They're amazing people. Do not let the media, the president, senators, re representatives, don't let them scare you. People are good. And there's a whole lot of good people. And we got to stick together. And if we stick together, everything will be better. But that's my, my message. But I also carry a gun. So there's that. I love you. You take care. Have a great day. Thanks for viewing. And I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. All right, guys. Later.